And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the teachings of Jesus and his power to forgive sins. And so someone might ask the question, Why would God forgive me when I am a guilty sinner? Some people think God forgives us because he is kind and willing to do so. But that is not entirely the whole story. God cannot forgive even one of your sins unless there has been an adequate payment made for the sin. God is holy and just and would never allow anyone to get away with evil. All sin must be judged and punished. God is only able to forgive your sin if you have paid for it or someone else pays for it on your behalf. The trouble is that you and I can never make a payment to God for our sins that would satisfy Him. Our debt is just far too big. Some people try to pay God back by doing good works, thinking that God will think of them as being good and thus forgive and accept them, even though they have sinned. This is a terrible lie of the devil, and unfortunately, many people who think they are Christians and on their way to heaven have fallen into this terrible lie. There is absolutely nothing you or I can do to pay even the slightest amount toward our debt of sin. God will only accept the sacrifice of Jesus upon the cross as payment for sins. Jesus was judged and punished in our place, and his judgment was sufficient enough to pay for all your sins and for all the sins of mankind. God is so pleased with the payment of his Son that all he asks us to do is believe in him and accept his sacrifice for payment of our sin. Therefore we should understand that those who are not believers can only ask God to forgive their sins if they are willing to accept Jesus' sacrifice for them and thus make him their Lord. If they are unwilling to place their trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord, then they cannot find forgiveness for their sins, and they will most certainly meet God's judgment one day. All those who have accepted Jesus by faith and have applied his payment to their account have been judicially forgiven for all their sins, past, present, and future. Now if the believer still commits some sin, he can confess his sin and be forgiven, not on the basis of salvation, but on the basis of fellowship. What this means is that the Christian who sins does not lose his salvation, but he loses his fellowship with God or his enjoyment of his salvation. Once a person has been saved, that is forgiven by God through Christ, God will never take back the free gift of eternal life. Otherwise, it could not be said to be free. The Bible teaches us that salvation is the free gift of God to all those who place their trust in Jesus. Yes, we all sin and thank God that he has provided a way for us to be forgiven through the judgment that was placed upon Jesus Christ our Lord. We did not deserve God's forgiveness but he is able to forgive because Jesus has paid our debt in full. If you are a Christian, I hope you will thank the Lord today for the free gift of God's forgiveness through Jesus. And if you are not a believer yet, then please make today the day you accept God's free gift of life through Jesus Christ and have all your sins washed away. The wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 23.